okay greetings everybody now class 12th we will be explaining the second topic of chapter 1st that is emergence of two superpowers or two power blocks now with the end of second world war in 1945 after dropping atomic bombs by us on japan's hiroshima and nagasaki the second world war ended and with the end of second world war us and ussr became two superpowers leaving behind all the major powers as germany england france etc now the us and ussr the two superpowers have two different ideologies the us followed the ideology of capitalism and liberalism and ussr followed the ideology of communism and socialism capitalism means the economic systems in which businesses are owned and run for profit by individuals and not by the states it talks about supporting the private sector then public sector for the development of the nation and liberalism means the individual's freedom and its equality before the law whereas ideology of ussr that is communism it means the political system in which the state owns and controls all the factories farms services etc and aims to treat everyone equal it talks about the preference of public sector rather than private sector for the development of the nation and socialism is the political idea that is based on the belief that all people are equal and resources should be equally divided now we'll come on to the next topic that is cuban missile crisis cuban missile crisis is considered as an example of confrontation and tension that developed among uss us and ussr during the cold war in 1961 ussr decided to make cuba a russian missile launching base to attack us from a close range cuba was an ally of ussr but was located close to the us in 1962 nikita khrushchev leader of soviet union placed nuclear missiles in cuba us got worried about the situation after 3 weeks and then the president of us john f kennedy ordered the american warships to intercept any soviet ships heading towards cuba as a way of warning ussr of his seriousness at this time whole world got worried as a class a clash seemed to happen that might went into a full scale war but ussr stopped then and there by opting cold war and not going for a full scale war this situation of worriedness tension or clash came to be known as the cuban missile crisis or cuban or you may say it cbc the cuban missile crisis was considered as the peak time of cold war as with this clash whole world was in worry that we may face the third world war in 